Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kayla, this is Cork Budget, and let's get into the last video of the year. This will be the first month where I did my goals and habits and such, so we will go ahead and get into the tracker after I do my recap of the month. So I think the only income that has changed this uh, week is that I did get my paycheck for Michael's. I just keep forgetting to kind of up my expected because I did get a small baby raise from my part-time job and it did kind of like not mess up my numbers, but I just had an overage of $15.76 and I will show you what we did with that uh, when we get to expenses. But that is it for the income that has changed. Uh, nothing else has really changed as far as income for the week. I am running into my first like issue with being credit card debt free for the first time in my adult life. Um, if you missed last the last video that I posted like right before this one, I paid off my last credit card. I don't have any more credit card debt. I had credit card debt since the time I was 18 basically and this is the first time that I have not had debt to look at and it's insanity. Um, but I'm running into an issue because I can't pay transactions now until they're posted. Before I still had a balance because I had my debt on there and so I was able to pay my transactions whenever I wanted to, I just totaled them up. But now it won't let me overpay on the amount. So I have to wait for everything to post, which has been frustrating. But expenses for the week were fairly minimal, I would say. I had some extra money come in this month and I got Christmas money. I did put my Christmas money on my January budget, so you'll see that um, next month, but or in the next video, actually. But I kind of moved a couple things around here. So let's go ahead and just get into it. As far as my buffer, I had $26.83 in my Ally Savings account and I just, I moved over all of it. But when I went to pull out cash for my vacation, I just pulled out the $26. So there was 86 cents that I put into my buffer. I went and got like a couple groceries and a couple travel things like skincare stuff. And I just put that under groceries because like I said, I had some extra grocery money and I wanted to like use that money and maximize it. Since it's the end of the year, I don't want to roll over like a lot of my sinking funds. I want to kind of start fresh. Uh, next up, I had planned to use some of my extra income from this month towards a lash, like lashes trial that I'm doing for the wedding. But since I got Christmas money, I didn't need to do that. So I put life happens, I credit, credited that $36. Um, again, my, the rent thing, I don't know if I've talked about this, but they're changing a bunch of our rent stuff, like the portal that we use and how we pay and all these things. So um, the fee was actually different. So I had budgeted more um, that we normally pay, but our, the fee actually went down, which is great. But there was 55 cents difference for the fee. Uh, ne the next purchase was 50 cents on Amazon. I had gotten a gift card for Christmas and I had a little bit left over and I wanted to use it for something that I didn't really need, but I wanted. Anyway, the amount was 50 cents. I took it out of groceries because again, we had money there. Death Sugar Fry. I didn't end up spending it on my pretzel. My fiance bought my pretzel and he didn't say anything about paying him back. Um, and so I wanted Jersey Mike's the other night. It's like the end of the week and we were gone for Christmas and like, it's just like, I don't have a lot of groceries and so I didn't bring anything with me for dinner to my part-time job. And I was like, I need, I'm gonna need dinner. So I went ahead and spent my $10 on a Jersey Mike sandwich. It was actually $10 and 60 cents. So I took that out of grocery. Like I said, I did get my second Michael's paycheck. And then I finally pulled the cash to go on the cruise. It's been sitting in there for a while. I just never went to the bank because I don't like going to the bank. So that was pulled and that was done. Um, oh, I need to actually uncheck the ones for Discover because I haven't paid them yet. Um, and then what else? Oh, so the money that I had gotten extra from Michael's, I got Chick-fil-A yesterday. I really, no. Thursday. I got Chick-fil-A Thursday. I really wanted Chick-fil-A, but I didn't want to like go over my budget or anything, but I got extra money from my Michael's paycheck. So I got Chick-fil-A and then I put the extra extra <laughs> into my buffer. And then, um, like I said, the life happens got $36, but it's only showing 26 because 
Starbucks had half off of drinks and I wanted my sister to have some Starbucks so I ordered it close to her house so she could go pick it up. She does have a newborn baby um, and I just felt like it was a nice treat for her to get a Starbucks and it was on sale for me so I did go ahead and put $10 onto my Starbucks account for my sister to get her Starbucks. So currently I need to pay $31.13 on my credit card but I can't because the balance is only like five dollars or something like stuff hasn't posted all the way so I guess we're just waiting on that I'm not really sure what to do about that or how to get around it but those are the transactions for December I don't have anything else crazy coming up I do have a few things that I'm like moving over to January and we'll talk about that in my next video I've only been filming for like seven minutes so apparently I'm talking really fast I just really want to be done with this year, if I'm being honest, and December and everything and get into my new fresh budget. So let's go ahead and wrap up all of these summaries. So income summary, my income was great. It was actually over by $141.10 from what I had expected. So that is very exciting. Um, the overages mostly consisted of my extra money that I had gotten for a um job that I did like a catering an extra catering job that I did and then also some overtime from my main job so income summary is wonderful bill summary nothing really changed like I said the amount for my rent is a little bit different because the fee that they charge to <clears throat> the fee that they charge you to pay the rent has gone down a little bit so that's exciting expenses summary like I said, with that extra income, I was able to do a little bit more spending. So I do have a few categories that are in the negative, but they are, with my color coding, they are categorized as green, so they were taken care of. And then as far as rollover, I'm going to be rolling over um, the extra money from a few different things. So... I said that I wanted to keep my grocery and my gas, like my variable expenses pretty low this month. And I actually did a really good job at that. I think I had like 20 or $30 of grocery money left over, which like you saw in my expenses, I put that towards other things, which is exactly what I wanted to be able to do. I wanted to be able to eat kind of what I have at the house and use that money elsewhere where I felt like it'd be more beneficial or more um, like treats for myself because I did pay off my credit card this month and I want to make sure that I'm like having a little bit of benefit and excitement about that. So technically I do have more in grocery, um, but I just put that towards other things. I have more money in gas. I only filled up once this month and that was just like I said, I was trying to keep it low and not go and like fill up every week. I was just trying to put the gas in when I needed it. I have a hangnail it's driving me nuts. And then I decided anything that's under like $5, I'm just going to group into one thing. I don't want to move over a bunch of sinking fund stuff since it's a new year budget. So the beans have $3.30 and then household has $1.58. So I'm going to go ahead and move that over. And then I also have the life happens um, category where I threw in that extra money. I have $26 there. For the holidays, I did not spend my total budget for that, and so I have $8.37 to carry over. So we will be carrying over $60.81, and I will share what I am spending that on in the 2024 video. I know I'm hyping it up. Hopefully it's remotely interesting because I've got a lot planned for that video. So that'll be the rollover for the month. Um, I'm not going to roll over my serious category because that is more money for like car maintenance and things. So I want to keep that and it's, again, it's not under the $5 mark. It's actually like a good amount of money. So I want to keep that in my car fund. The savings and sinking fund summary, I was able to put um, some money into my buffer, which was exciting. And then I also got my ally savings account interest. And then I did pull out the money for the cruise and the honeymoon. So both of those are fulfilled and taken care of. And then moving down to investment summary, I did put money into my 401k. I actually had a little bit more than I thought. So $3.64 over there. And then for debt, I did pay my student loan payment. And then again, my Discover card was paid off. I had dumped a bunch of money in here just to cover some purchases. And I was waiting to see how those purchases ended up being. 
and that is what they ended up being. So I have paid all that off and my credit card is done. So that is a rundown of December. Very quick. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Can you tell I'm over it? I'm like, let's go to the new year. I'm ready. I do have those few purchases over here that I need to pay on my Discover whenever they post. So we'll see what happens there. Moving over into my December goals tracker. So I started doing this goals tracker um, for the first time this month and I want to go ahead and go through and see how I did. I did not like check off anything. I just kind of wanted to go through everything with you all and discuss a little bit and see how it went. I think the first thing that we should look at is my habit tracker because that is going to kind of um, determine a few of my goals. So if you scroll down on this page, there'll be a daily habit tracker. I did fill in a couple of things for today and tomorrow that I'm planning to do. So we'll see how it goes. Um, so 30 minutes of walking. I did not do great with this. I'm not even going to lie. I got 12 out of 31. I am planning to run around the house like crazy today. So I'm counting that. And then I would like to do a walk tomorrow. So I feel okay about that. Water was a 21 out of 31. So not terrible, but not great. AM skincare was a 27 out of 31. Pretty good. Um, PM skincare was a 25 out of 31. Getting up at 6 a.m. was 11 out of 31. Um, I just was not feeling it. There, I, I just, it was a, um, I only have my period every three months, and so it was a period month, and so it was just not, not, not the time. It's, I'm, I'm giving myself some grace as far as, like, not getting up every day at 6 a.m. I would like to do it, like, a good amount of times and then get into a better system, but... I didn't read nothing this month. I did so bad on reading, like so bad. I just, I went, uh, well, I'll talk about it in a minute. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and give myself my water, AM and PM skincare, and that's it. So three out of the four, water, AM, PM skincare, which I mean is good. Like that's some of the things that I'm trying to focus on. So we'll take it. As far as personal goals, wake up at six. Didn't do that too well. Be mindful around the holidays. I felt like I was. I felt like I was pretty present and I felt like I didn't let anything overwhelm me too much, which was really nice. I did not host my vision board party. The month just kind of got a little busy and I ended up canceling the party. I did read the first book that my future sister-in-law gave me. The first one was really good. I read it in like 10 days. The second one is like really kind of dragging a little bit more so I'm trying to get through that. I did finish my diamond painting. I will try to remember to put up a picture. I finished that last night at 11 30. My friends came over and we all kind of just did our own thing but I worked on my diamond painting and I finished that. 30 minutes of walking a day. Not so much. I did get my water goal. Um, I know that I did exfoliate I think at least two or three three times. So I'm going to go ahead and give myself that one. I didn't do any yoga this month. Not one yoga did I do this month, which is really frustrating because I feel like I need it. Like I feel like my, my body needs it. But anyway, um, so I don't think I did a good job on my low spend because I got more income. So it was just kind of like evened out. I don't know. I did pay off my discover. So exciting. I did pay off the purchases for November. Uh, we had our budget club and I did finish saving for the cruise next month. Oh, we're so close to vacation friends. Um, keeping my categories separate and not overspending. I took a lot from groceries, which I didn't, I wasn't like planning to do. Um, I don't think I'm going to give myself this one just because I spent, I did spend money and I didn't keep them crazy separated. So I don't think I'm going to give myself that one. Okay, wedding stuff. We did do quite a bit of wedding things, but we also realized that we're changing a couple of things, so we don't need all of the stuff that's happening. Um, so we, I think the only thing I did was the, or I did order our invitations. We have those, and I did buy the last thing that was on our Amazon list. Um, I still just don't think I want anything in my hair. I haven't found anything that I like. These couple of things are technically my fiance's 
uh, responsibilities and he's not ready to deal with those yet. I think we decided we're gonna buy a boutonniere, so I'm gonna cross that one off. Um, I did not start the quill sign, which I really need to start because that one's gonna take a hot minute. Uh, we didn't order the paper shoot, and I didn't. I wanted to go to Goodwill to find bud vases. Maybe I can do that next week. Um, and that's really it. I mean, we do know the, the venue insurance that we're doing. We just need to purchase it. We, we've already researched into that. So I just need to look at that. But I'm going to call that good. I didn't do great, but things are done. So we achieved 52% of our goals. I think personally, I would like for that number to be between 65 and 75. I think that is my like feel good about it. Uh, percentage so for the first month having 52 was like mm, could have been better okay so I think that is it for this video and the videos for the year I hope that you enjoyed thank you so much for being a part of all of this and coming along with me for everything I am hoping that 2024 goes really well with all of my finances and my budget I am really excited about how I have everything set up and I will share all of that with you in the next video thank you for watching and I'll see you next time